Greetings whiskey hunters, welcome to Whiskey Whistle. I'm your host Mark and you're watching whiskey review number 113. This is part two of a two-parter uh, of the Glenfiddich uh, cask collection it's called. And um, these are the miniature, well the, the two, uh, 200 milliliter versions of them. And today we'll be looking at the reserve cask. Um, in 112, uh, I reviewed the select cask. Okay, that's this one right here. And uh, now we'll be doing the reserve cask. And it's the same day. Okay, so the day has not changed. And uh, both of these reviews will be available uh, on the same day. Okay, uh, for the, well, I should say for the, uh, uh, the subscribers who like to watch them first. Okay, so we'll have two reviews today. Uh, should you choose to watch them both, that would be great. And let me know what you think, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and get it poured. This is the reserve cask. It's 40% ABV. And, um, well, just to clear up any confusion, it certainly does say uh, with caramel color added uh, on the back in uh, German, in Danish, uh, etc. Not in English, because it's not required for England, uh, nor is it required in uh, many other countries. Okay, anyway, now that was a very, very healthy pour. That was much, too much. We'll have a lot of work to do during the review today. Okay, let's um, let things kind of mix up a little bit. And interestingly, there's a bit of sediment going on in here. And, uh, of course, I, I clean these glasses. Uh, what I do with my glasses, by the way, uh, I put them away uh, dirty, in fact. Now, that may seem a little bit weird. Um, and then I clean them before use. That way, uh, they are getting uh, completely rid of the dust. And I've got this really cool, um, uh, what can I call that, a tea towel uh, for drying specifically uh, glassware. And it leaves it dust-free, fiber-free, totally, absolutely smudge-free, beautiful. I love it. Uh, it is from a company called Final Touch. I believe it's right there. Should I get it? I'll get it. Hang on a second. I'm right here. Don't worry. Got it. Okay. Final Touch, I should say. Okay, so there's the Final Touch uh, glass dryer Dr glass dryer anyway polisher it's a glass polisher um you can wash it in the machine i hand washed it okay and um uh, when you are drying your glassware uh you know you'll hold on to the let's say the stem of the uh, the glass with one hand and then polish with the other and you get absolutely streak free dust free fiber free beautiful glasses ready for our whiskey tastings okay so that's that anyway so my glass was absolutely clean and I've got a little bit of uh, sediment going on here which I'm not alarmed about now uh, some um, some drinkers may be if that's from the uh, uh, the vat well that's interesting anyway well, we'll just carry on, go with the flow. I never noticed that before. Um, I wonder. Oh, yeah. Yep, there's a little bit of floaties in there. Interesting. Well, in fact, in my opinion, that's encouraging then. So uh, there may have been minimal, if at all, uh, chill filtration that, that went on. And even perhaps the barrier uh, barrier filtering may have been minimal uh, to preserve some of this natural flavor. Okay, so on with the nose. We'll have a short advertisement right here. Welcome back. This is Glenfiddich Cask Collection Reserve Cask. Now, uh, before we get on, I forgot. Let's just go through the... Um, the facts of this particular bottling, okay? Um, cask collection, I'll read that again. Our cask collection celebrates Glenfiddich's unique Solera marrying process. 
The magic happens when our handcrafted Solaire Vat Mary's Glenfiddich whiskey is matured in specially selected uh, oak casks to ensure continuity of flavor. Reserve cask. Our malt master has carefully hand selected Glenfiddich whiskies matured in sherry casks reserved for their mellow and rich flavor. Or sorry, mellow and rich flavor characteristics, which are then married together in limited batches in our unique Solera vat. Uh, and we won't read the, um, the tasting notes here. Okay. All right. On to the nose. Now it still has this brightness to it. And what I'm thinking that is, uh, I noticed that in the select cask as well. And I think that is uh, some energetic, energetic youthfulness that's coming through. Um, it's no age statement. Okay, so... Um, Definitely, it's not three-year-old whiskey, but uh, if it were 12-year-old, they would have indicated as such. Uh, so it's probably eight to 12-year-old. There could be older whiskey in there. Uh, there could be uh, slightly younger as well. Okay. Okay. Quite fruity. Also very spicy. Hmm. What am I smelling here? There's still kind of a sangria note. I mentioned that for the select cask. So wine and strawberries mixed. Okay, what else am I getting here? This is from my notes from yesterday. Uh, here I wrote peach. Hmm, and then something illegible again. A little bit of salt. There's something a little bit more salty here now with this one. Okay. Yeah, a little bit of saltness, saltiness. Some sweetness. There's a plumminess to it as well. Plums. Peaches. So it seems like stone fruits are especially featured here uh, with these cask collection single malts from Glenfiddich. Hmm. Anything else? Not so much raisins. A little bit of cinnamon. Some vanilla coming through there. And you give it time, you will be rewarded. On to the palate. Let's taste it now. Cheers, all. Still quite soft. Very much like the select cask, but it's distinctly jammier. I wrote here jammy, um, gummy candies. What else? As opposed to fresh, unused tea bags, I'm getting slightly spent tea bag flavor going on. Uh, other interesting things I notice here red fruit juice. Um, What on earth did I write here? No idea. It's got a star on it. Must have been important. <laughs> ah, okay. Yes, now it says here, youth evident. So the youthfulness of this is evident. Um, can't read the other one. C, O, no, it's gone. Ah, well, that's part of being left-handed. I'd like to say I'm ambidextrous, but, you know, I certainly favor the, the left hand. On occasion, I'll chopstick with my right. So 
to avoid bumping with the person next to me. Lefties out there, you know what I'm talking about, right? I think all lefties have to be ambidextrous with, with their um, uh, cutlery at the dinner table. Otherwise, you end up spilling crap all over yourself or your neighbor. Or you have to sit in the prized, uh, the leftmost corner of either side of the table. But uh, unless you're quick, you're going to miss out on those prized seats. Let's go back in there one more time. Hmm. Now it's got far more substance than the select cask. It's soft, uh, however, um, it's got some, hmm, it's got some guns in there, we'll say, okay? It's got potential. Uh, it has um, a softness, but when you hang on to it in your mouth for a little bit longer than you may normally, um, you'll have a little bit of, let's call it uh, a fruity reward. No, I still can't read that. Oh well. Okay, how about the finish here? Hmm. Quite a bit longer. Medium to long. It's dry. I've got raisins and plum. Uh, vanilla, malt, and then this peachiness returns, very similar to the select cask in that regard. Apricotty peachiness, peach pit. <coughs> Pardon me, excuse me. Okay, time to add a bit of water. And I will be very, very cautious here with the water. A little bit less than I did with the um, select. Two drops, two drops in 25 or 30 milliliters, okay? So very minimal adjustment to the uh, ABV, but hopefully a rewarding change to the flavor and the nose. Now, if you've tried any of these, either the select cask that I'm reviewing now or, uh, or, sorry, the reserve cask that I'm reviewing now, or the select cask from 112. I'd love to hear your take on the flavor, the strength, uh, the softness that I'm finding with this. Are you finding this soft? Please let me know. And uh, for the for the diehard collectors out there, and there's a couple that I know of, um, one of my subscribers and friend, uh, I believe he's out of California, Alan Brody. Uh, I've mentioned him before. He's got, I think, some uh, some of the uh, some of the uh, we'll call it the almost like investment Glenfiddich uh, in his uh, collection. Um, I want uh, he probably would. I would say uh, to Alan, Alan, this is not for you. Um, you know, if your friend, uh, if you're at a friend's place and they have it, try it. Uh, not worth buying, in my opinion, for uh, someone who likes um, older, you know, 18-year-old plus whiskeys. If that's what you like, this will not float your boat. But if you're like me and you like a variety of young to old whiskeys, uh, I do like this. And I like it uh, enough that I would say, yes, go buy it. Even if it is a little bit more than the 12-year-old. Okay, that should be all mixed up by now. Any change in the nose? Okay, so more vanilla caramel coming through now. A little bit of orange, okay, so like an orange cream. Orange cream chocolate, milk chocolate. A bit more leather now. 
So a little bit more familiar to me uh, as far as Glenn Fittick is concerned. So I would more readily identify this as Glenn Fittick than um, something unknown. And yet it still retains its brightness. Um, which some may say, well, that's just the youth. But it may be young, but the point is here, the casking has been wonderful. Uh, and I would say that for both of these. Okay, so they're really focusing here on the wood, on the maturation. Uh, I should say on the wood quality, not maturation, the wood quality. Okay, so they're focusing on um, upping the value of casks themselves. Okay. And they can do that by increasing the amount of first fill. First fill meaning it's been used once for another uh, liquid, like bourbon or sherry, but only once. And then it's been emptied. And then you have the new make, uh, the pre-aged scotch uh, put in. Okay. Uh, distinctly more dried fruit, red fruit notes coming through now. Okay, what do I write here? Vanilla toffees, more jammy, a little bit of salt. Um, citrus candies, uh, some gummies, and then sweet raisins, sweet raisins, uh, uh, darker raisins coming through. Okay, how about the, the, the flavor now? Let's get on to that forgot the advertisement again so we'll put that right here okay welcome back this is Glen Fittick cask collection reserve cask with a little bit of water added onto the palate hmm Distinctly more Glenfiddich esque uh, than neat. And uh, I quite like it with water. A little more of this leathery note comes through, which I find is, uh, at least in my vernacular, that's one of the hallmark flavors of Glenfiddich. Um, leather, le, expensive leather car seats, fresh, uh, fresh baseball glove. Maybe you get some baseball glove conditioner and you work it in there. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, even the nose is really getting uh, uh, Glenfiddich-y now. And yet still very bright. The palette's got a little bit of this sort of dusty library. It's not really a flavor. Uh, but that's what I'm reminded of when I, when I taste this. Um, and yet it's also very fruity, uh, lots of red fruits, lots of, um, red grapes and, uh, black plums, fr uh, fresh, ripe black plums. Um, it's juicy. Okay. Uh, onto the finish. Malty, a hint of peat, uh, a rush of fruit there, quite long, not so dry, more sweet than dry, um, and uh, I wrote here peachy vanilla, and then as you, um, as you wait, then a little bit more tartness, astringency. The dryness comes sort of afterwards. Okay, so sweet finish. Um, and you swallow a few times, you've got basically like a 
uh, slightly dry, slightly um, sour, uh, grapey, um, musty, must, grape must, uh, musty flavor going on. Okay. So that was, that was Glenfiddich class, uh, Clask, Cask Collection, Cask Collection Reserve Cask. And uh, this one, what's he giving it, giving it a nickname? This one will be called the Fruit Leather Gem, okay? And um, uh, the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey Score for Glenfiddich Select Cask. No, no, no. Sorry. Glenfiddich Reserve Cask is going to be 83 out of 100. Uh, 83 out of 100. That is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey Score for Glenfiddich, the Reserve Cask. Okay. Uh, I do prefer this one to the Select. Uh, it's got more oomph in the palate. It's got more substance um, in the overall taste, um, uh, even the finish, a little bit more substance there, okay? Now, what am I going to do? I've got the uh, reserve cask here, the select cask here. Let's smell them side by side. Vanilla, cinnamon, and bourbon. And a little bit of this wininess, that's a select cask here. And here we go, leather, red fruit, maltiness, deeper, uh, deeper fragrance. Hmm. Maybe a little bit of pepper, paprika, something going on there now. Okay, now that I can compare them side by side. Taste side by side. Again, so smooth. A little bit of spice. Touch of red wine. Oh, much more potent, jammy, strawberry jam, peachy finish. Okay, so well, now I've done this before. I'll do it again. Why not? Um, it's my channel. I can do whatever I want. Almost. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't do it if I didn't think that you may enjoy. Let's mix the two, okay? I've got roughly the same volume now. Let's mix the two. Now, when you think about Glenfiddich and uh, let's say the 12 year old, I'm pretty sure it's a good mix of bourbon and sherry casks. Um, so with any amount of luck, we may find this might be uh, together, the both of them combined may have a little bit closer to that typical Glenfiddich flavor that I'm familiar with. I don't have enough time to marry it. So we'll just carry on like this a little bit. And uh, yeah, uh, it really does smell like Glenfiddich now. This smells like Glenfiddich. It's got the leather, it's got the fruit, it's got the spice. Apple, cinnamon. And yet it's got a little bit more mm, oomph to it than the 12. Okay, so probably um, the value of casks, the value of the actual wood was more expensive for these than with the standard 12 year old. And that's just my opinion. That's my guess. Yeah, boy, interesting. I'm pretty sure that if I stuck that under the nose of a blindfolded Glenfiddich fan, 
they would say, hmm, that smells like 12, um, but more potent. Okay, how about the taste now? This is the combined select cask and reserve cask. And yeah, I'm enjoying myself. Um, a few comments from the last review, the last review 111. Some people thought, you know, Mark, you're really having a good time while you're doing these reviews. And sure, I am. And that's a lot of fun for me. So um, hopefully you're having some fun too. Okay, cheers everyone. Mmm. As far as the palate is concerned, the weakness that was evident in the select cask um, uh, is totally, totally gone. What you're getting now is a real good mixture of the spices of the bourbon mixed with the fruitiness of the, uh, uh, the sherry casks. Then you got that added a little bit of a wine cask influence here from the select cask, okay? And the combined effect hmm. The combined effect is delicious. And I would say uh, together these whiskeys work better mixed than separate. The finish is huge. It's fruity, it's spicy, and uh, it's longer than the two apart. Um, very interesting. Still very peachy. A lot of the flavors have remained. Hmm. Well, I'm impressed. Okay, so uh, if you do get these, yeah, try them separately, but make sure you've got enough in your glass so you can mix them and uh, and see what you think. I would love to hear your point of view on this, okay? Please comment. Let me know what you think of the cask collection from Glenn Fittick, uh, the select cask and the reserve cask, okay? That's these guys here. Um, thanks for tuning in. This was a little bit longer than I planned, but hopefully that was okay for you. Don't forget to subscribe, and I would love to hear your comments. I'd love it, I'd love it if you could like the review, if you did like it. Uh, if you didn't like it, dislike the review. You know what? That helps me as well. Um, viewers are interested in reviews, uh, interested in content, if there is a uh, even mix of like and dislike. So go ahead. The first time I had a dislike, I thought, oh no, someone didn't like my review. Um, but now that I realize, you know what, that adds uh, some uh, desire on the view of people who have never watched the review before, okay? So if you didn't like the review, dislike it. If you liked it, like it. And if you can, share it with um, uh, your whiskey buddies, uh, whether they be your friends or uh, your online friends, okay? Uh, thanks again, everybody. That was the Glenfiddich Cask Collection. Today was, well, this review was the Reserve Cask, previously the Select Cask, and then the combination Select Reserve. Okay. Take care, everyone. We'll see you again. And I'm going to drink this as I finish. Mm hmm.